and welcome back to another episode of Camp Confidence. Conversations about confidence, self-improvement, and success between two Filipina entrepreneurs and two different journeys. I am Ayin Bernos, the founder of Morena the Label. And I am Riza Lana Sebastian, the founder and CEO of Lana PH and for today's episode, we are talking about businesses and side hustles and especially our opportunities during this pandemic. It's one of my favorite topics, ko, Ayin. Because mm-hmm. um, before I was told, online, online, lang, paano ko mababuhay dyan? So here it is. And here I it is. It. Yes. Diba? Our new oh. normal is online. For the longest time, people have been saying, oh, how are you going to do a business online? How does that work? You're not going to see people? Well, ayan na, we're all forced is to. Is that even a real job? <laughs> ayan. <laughs> but, but here we are. Here we are. This is what we have to do now. So for today, we're going to be talking about those things. And also, parang it's a little brainstorming session. Yes. So we can give you guys maybe some ideas how to make money during this time. It's a weird transition period, but we all have to deal with it. So, yep. Yes. But before we start that discussion, let's start off with our wins of the week as usual. Yeah. Magkamustahan muna tayo. How yes. are you? <laughs> ano bang ganap this week? Oh, um, start uh, no Monday. We started uh, transitioning ng work from home to the office. So right now, we are finalizing yung lahat ng mga kailangan namin gawin sa office. And we bought beds for the staff. Uh, exciting. Kasi uh, yung, mga iba, yung ibang teammates namin sa office na sila magsistay because I don't want to risk them. I, mm-hmm. I don't want to risk exposing them outside. So we set up um, mga tulugan, kitchen. Nakakatawa pa nito, mas mahal pa yung mga gamit nila kaysa sa gamit ko sa bahay. Sobrang kulipat ka talaga sa sarili ko minsan. Tapos, yung mga luma yung sa akin, yung mga bago yung sa kanila. Ayun, wala lang. Share ko lang. I'm just happy about that. And, ayun. Nakita ko nga yung stories mo oh. sa Instagram. It was so nice. So, like, you're converting the space into, like, a Yes. staff house muna for Uh-oh. for the meantime. Tapos ang dilemma ko noon was do I um buy metal framed beds or yung wood. <laughs> Syempre mas mahal yung wood, tapos parang sabi ko shocks pero mas aesthetic yung wood. So sige wood na lang tayo. <laughs> ang aesthetic. Mas aesthetic. Ayun lang. <laughs> Well, in the long run, you know, <laughs> maybe in the long run, it's be- much better. And, oh, so ako naman this week, my win is I finally started uploading again on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Love Kasi, it. Kasi, ano, parang for the, for the last two months, I haven't been feeling like myself. So parang... Uh, ba't ako mag-upload ng video kung feeling ko? Kasi nagkaroon talaga ako ng parang identity crisis, especially with the quarantine na parang, bakit ako YouTuber? Like, I'm useless. Yun talaga yung feel ko. As in, yung helpless na, gusto ko, bakit hindi dala ako doctor, ganyan-ganyan, parang wala akong makontribute. So anyway, that was my dilemma, na parang I had to claw my way out of it before I could start again. Kasi nga, Ayun, like, gusto ko yung pag may ihaharap ako sa audience ko. I wanna be able to stand by what I say, ganyan. So, right. hey, finally, I started editing and filming, and I'm also halfway through another vlog. Wow. Little steps. Yung banget trip ko before uh-huh. the lockdown. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ayun ako, I miss, I miss everything, but also at the same time, we work with what we have. <laughs> True, very true, and I'm so happy for you. Congratulations! Thank you. Ang hirap kaya mag mag ano lumabas don. <laughs> Totoo. Tsaka, sabi ko nga so much respect for YouTubers. Kasi hindi siya talaga ganon kadale. Akala ko I M M na lang arte art. Pero hindi talaga grabe so much hard work hindi in talaga. one video grabe. <laughs> So, let's dive right into the topic. Uh, first question natin ay, mm-hmm. ay hindi pala question. Let's talk about um, small businesses we've been seeing pop up. Uh, what we've been seeing pop up lately. Ang labo na naman. Yeah, yeah. Kasi <laughs> diba online, parang nagbago talaga yung, nagbago yung landscape eh. 
And all of a sudden, and daming sumusulpot na mga food businesses, food delivery businesses na they weren't here before, but it's here now. So, have you been noticing anything on your side of Manila? Because South girl, <laughs> I'm a North girl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, long distance relationship talaga kami ni Ayu. Oh, oh. <laughs> di ba man kita in person? Imagine. No, di ba? Very, very soon. Don't worry. Yeah. Ayun, kami on my end, I've been noticing yung mga personal shoppers. Yung mga um, buying service. Yung i-hire mo sila to buy groceries for you. O kaya go to the bank for you. Tapos you pay them for it. Tapos I also see an increase in yun na, virtual summits or paid online classes. I yes. love that. Have you attended um, any? Yes, I did. Sobrang soccer ko, di ba, for ano? Yeah. For, <laughs> for learning and workshops, etc., etc., And I also have friends who organized this as well. So, yun. Uh, ano pa ba? Veggie delivery services. Eh, sobrang important. I mean, like, before, parang wala lang siya. Mamamaling kita, ganyan. And then all of a sudden, this is essential. Damn, We need wala. it. Sa, uh, sa village namin, we've had a lot of people na parang sila yung magsusource directly from a store. For example, like, Um, chicken, yung bounty chicken or a chicken brand or something. Yeah. Tapos, they'll have, they'll collect the orders from the residents within the area and then they'll order in bulk. Tapos, meron silang patong and then they'll do the delivery house to house. Mga mm. ganon. Ganesh. Tapos, yung mga ano, artists and daming nag-commission na yeah. work. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, my sister-in-law started her own um, art uh, commissioned art services. Galing. So, how does that work as in, like, um, illustrations? Ganon? Yes, illustrations. Uh, she's using her iPad for that. Magaling din kasi talaga siya, eh. sobrang mm-hmm. artistic niya. She's at chesk.art sa I love Instagram. It. So, yun. Chesk so, you, so art. You, pay, you pay the drawings per head. So, pwede siyang pang gift, pang mm-hmm. ano. Cute nga, eh. Nung Mother's Day, gumawa siya ng uh, illustration ng lahat ng moms. Sa family. Aww. So, uh, super cute. Ayun. That's so sweet. Ano pa ba? Um, there's also, I have a friend who who's a photographer. Tapos now, what she's doing is she's doing product photography from her home. So, what she does is yung business owner is send sa kanya yung products. Is ship mm. sa kanya products. And then, she has a home studio where she shoots everything. Tapos, dun. Parang, so, instead of having the Uh, what do you call this? The photo shoot sa mismong place or sa studio or whatever. Tapos madaming tao, ganyan. Instead of doing that, like, okay, just send me what you have. I'll take photos of it depending on what you want to happen. And then, you know, parang that's the best way we can adapt at this point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of photo shoots, I actually have a friend who hired someone na um, kasi pregnant siya. Then she did her uh, pregnancy photo shoot. Tapos, ang nangyari is parang virtual lang. So, si photographer, dinidirect lang niya. Kung baka naka-Zoom meeting lang sila. Zoom? Yes, naka-Zoom <laughs> lang sila. So, si photographer, kamiting niya sa Zoom. Tapos, it, parang, ano ba, tuturuan lang siya about angles. Tapos, ano yun, like, screenshot? Tapos, siya sa sarili niya. Oh! Ang weird na parang shocks, ang galing. Interesting. Yeah. I want to see it. But I, like, do you think the results are more or less the yeah, same? She posted it. She posted it. Uh, I think I can link it up to you later. Sige. Wow, that's so cool. A maternity shoot virtually. Yes. Okay, but what do, what do we think about exploring e-commerce? We mentioned a while ago that everyone's suddenly going online. Yeah. What about as e-commerce uh, business women? Yeah. yeah. Ako, ano, I've been doing e-commerce ever since adamant pa yung mga tao about buying online. Na, yun nga, sabi ko kanina, may nag-comment pa sa akin before na, ba't ka magre-resign? Mabubuhay ka pa ng online-online mo. But now, um, go, go dive into it. It's mm-hmm. a very promising industry. And wala ka masyadong overhead. You can start it at home. 
just make your own website. Ang dami Shopify. I love uh, Shopify. I love Shopify. Uh, pwede rin Squarespace. Ganyan. So, explore nyo, guys. Sobrang mm-hmm. marami. Kasi, maraming pwede. I think, ano, merong, madami yung resistance against e-commerce, especially in the Philippines, na people want to see the product. People want to know how you know, they want to be able to test it out. But, yun nga, during this time now, we have the new normal, the best we could do is utilize what we do have, and that's right. the internet. And, mm-hmm. yeah, like what Riza said a while ago, the overhead cost, as in, instead of putting up a physical shop and then spending on that, you have rent, utilities. If you have a website, that's about it. That was your inventory mo, you can do it at home. So if you're like a small business owner like me, oh, it's all Shopify. And I, I made the website myself. So these are things that you can easily understand through the internet, through YouTube, YouTube University, yes, <laughs> Shopify wow. Academy. Google University. <laughs> I love it. As in, parang... Because we're not all privileged to have investors and we're not all privileged to have money na pwede natin ilagay sa capital so we can have this big launch. But right. if you want to start, e-commerce is a really good way to get things started. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so, ayan, speaking of jobs, ano kayang online jobs ang pwedeng, can people apply for at this time? What do you think? Nag like online jobs ka ba ever? Ako hindi. Hindi na, hindi na. <laughs> What was your last job before you started uh, your business? Oh, hotel. Hotels pa din. Ah, I was oh, in sales ah. naman. Mm-hmm. So, yan. Very, very much corporate ako then into business na. But mm-hmm. you have a different story. So, an- ano yung mga... Actually, <laughs> freelancer ako before. So, before... I'm medyo magulo yung career story ko. Pero before I I came home to start my business officially, um, I was I was working in marketing. Tapos, af- but this was digital marketing. So everything was online even though I had to go to an office. I, it was still pretty much online. And then after that, um, I started freelancing because yeah. I was starting to build my connection. So I had clients from abroad na I would do their social media for them. So these this was all online na interview, alam mo job application online. Everything uh-huh. was through Zoom, through emails. So ako personally, my main online freelancing gig was social media marketing. So I was doing mm-hmm. copywriting, blogging for for clients. Tapos um after noon, I started teaching English in Spain and then I moved back. So throughout this whole time, I never let my freelance online jobs go because extra source of income is side hustle. Yun nga, yeah. hustler ka, you gotta yeah. find ways to make money na parang it's hard to rely on one source of income kasi pag nawala, ano gagawin mo? Ganun. True. So, I guess online jobs that people can apply for. There are websites such as onlinejobs.ph. I found a couple of clients there. So virtual assistants. If you, if you have, if you're pretty good at English, tapos you're very good at organizing. There are a lot of business owners who need an assistant but can't necessarily hire one full time na papasok sa office. So what they do is they find someone online who can help them fix their calendar and then sort their files, attend meetings, you know, all of these mundane admin stuff na ayaw gawin ng yeah. mga entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. A virtual assistant can do that for them. Tapos, ayun, that's, that's, that's one job opportunity. And the good thing is, pwede siyang multiple clients. It doesn't mm-hmm. have to be just one boss. You can have multiple bosses, multiple incomes. So, cool. There's one. I actually um, asked a couple of friends. Thank you, Irish and Gaze, uh, the founder of Work From Home Pinay. Yes. Mm-hmm. She's really good. She mentioned yun nga, onlinejobs.ph, uh, Fiverr, Fiverr. Fiverr, yes. Um, Caliber. And marami nga daw talagang mga clients doon. But always be, uh, investigate din siguro kung legit ba yung client. Mm-hmm. Kasi one friend told me na she did 
twenty uh, videos for a client. Tapos biglang naglaho lang si client. Yay! So parang what? So do your due diligence mm-hmm. then before diving right into it. Mm-hmm. Um, Kaze actually gave me a link of all the tips and tricks for freelancing. Ooh. Maybe we can share it sa Camp Confidence mm-hmm. Facebook group. So, ayun. So, Giz's um, Instagram account is workfromhomepinay.ph. Yes. yes. Okay. So, madami din siya resources oh, na oh, you guys can check out. Yung, about the, yung projects na hindi nababayaran. So, a lot of mm-hmm. people ask me, ano gagawin namin if hindi kami babayaran or masaskam ba kami ng client kung ganun? I think it's always important to get a down payment, you know? Mm. And if it's like, about 20 videos, don't send all 20 videos right. without getting oh. paid for each one. Because it's, it's it's your responsibility to be your own HR. I guess that's the downside of doing work online. You don't have an right. HR manager to look out for you. Mm-hmm. So, bahala ka talaga to, to assert your rights. True. Mm-hmm. It's, it's siguro it's contract. Mm-hmm. Applicable yeah. ba yun? Sorry, hindi oh, ako oh, masyadong oh, super well-versed with freelancing. Eh, so. Yes. Dapat may, may MOA. Dapat merong mm-hmm. memorandum of agreement. And when you do sign into that, alamin mong totoong tao, totoong company yung kausap mo. Because, again, that also says a lot about your ano, social media savviness. So, right. Tsaka, ano, uh, don't, don't be shy to ask siguro mga legalities or siguro mga IDs kasi it's mm-hmm. your uh, responsibility nga, sabi mo. And karapatan mo rin yun as mm-hmm. an employee. Yeah, nakakatakot siya sometimes pero sayang yung opportunity, right. lalo na ngayon. Speaking of Fiverr, you mentioned Fiverr a while ago. Mm-hmm. So Fiverr is a website that uh, freelancers use to charge um, basically cash of tenog na Fiverr because it starts at five dollars. So mm-hmm. a project for five dollars. Halimbawa ako. Um, I actually got the Morena the label logo from Fiverr. As in, I looked for uh, a graphic designer on Fiverr. Tapos yung different options. This it it's really it's super straightforward. The website ang ganda kasi you decide na try mo na ba oo I-, I tried browsing pero hindi mm-hmm. hindi pa ako talaga nakapag commit with a project or nagpagawa ganya sobrang sobrang easy as in like all you have to do is select halimbawa what are you looking for i'm looking for a graphic designer and then you can select what kind of graphic design you want like logo mm-hmm. poster social media um cool stuff. Tapos, like, yung style. Like, is it line art? Is it illustration? Tapos, makikita mo dun yung mga mamamatch sa'yo na graphic designers. And then you see the rates. Some people charge $5, some $25, $30. Mas mataas. I guess, depende sa rating. Tapos, ayun. Ayun naman. Okay naman siya. Okay, so besides Fiverr and online jobs, we're trying to brainstorm other side hustle ideas. Especially for this time na, you know, extra income is always good. Ano bang mga pwedeng gawin ng mga tao nowadays? Uh, ayun nga, kung may quarantine pass kayo at pwede lumabas. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, personal shoppers. Pwede mm-hmm. kang yeah, um, do groceries for someone, do bank errands for someone. Uh, you can also delve into teaching whatever you're good at. Yes. Online classes for fitness, for example, if you are a yogi or a yoga instructor, um, mag-live ka lang or hold online classes. Or if you are good in cooking, you can maybe share recipes, yung mga mm-hmm. pangdalata na recipes. Uh, if you are good in playing the guitar, maybe you can hold guitar lessons. You can even have like one-on-one classes. Yeah. Like oh. people can pay for an hour. Kasi, mm-hmm. Depensin mo, ang dami nagbe-bake. Tapos nagbebenta ng baked goods lately. Oo. Mm-hmm. Super happy. Kaya, ako naman si Billy. So lahat ng mga Ikaw friends. Ikaw si <laughs> Lahat ng mga friends na gumagawa. Billy. Gana. Support. Nakakatawa. Last night, nag, nag-product exchange kami ni Riza. Oo nga. Oo. <laughs> In so, exchange. Uh, exchanging skincare with Morena the label. Yeah. <laughs> Ayun, i-open up ko na siya ulit. Kasi... Okay. 
<laughs> grabe talaga the uh, the stress of this quarantine pero and we're working on the on the operation side and trying to fix things so we can go back online and start again and let's do this thank you <laughs> Ano, yung sa cooking, sa sa baking stuff. And, and napansin ko, sobrang daming nag-ano, di ba, ang daming nag-bake, ang daming nag-deliver ng baked goods. And I noticed it's because ngayon na we lost the luxury of having a mall, open stores, doing everything ourselves. We're like, these basic stuff na we crave for, mm-hmm. yeah, like, there's a demand for that na all of a right. sudden, <laughs> and dyan. Online pa rin tong isang naiisip ko eh. Pero, ah, ano to? Um, I can, siguro dropshipping. So dropshipping is also related to e-commerce. So you can create a website. Then kapag may umorder na client, so you post all your products there. Tapos kapag may umorder na client, uh, you tell your product supplier to ship it on your behalf. So mm-hmm. if you are a dropshipper, wala kang hawak na inventories. So, kunwari, uh, meron kang binibentang mga skincare. So, kapag may umorder sa'yo ng skincare, sasabihan mo lang si supplier mo na, oh, supplier, send to kay client. Mm-hmm. So, parang middleman ka. Yeah. You do that. the marketing for them. You do the marketing for them, correct. Mm-hmm. And then, the, the supplier will ship it to your client. So, no inventory, no not much staff to pay. Mm-hmm. You get the commission and, in full. And so. even even capital, because you don't capital. have to stock up on inventory. Because the problem usually, diba, if you start a business, you need to buy 100 pieces of ganyan, and then you try to get rid of the inventory. But with drop shipping, it's you market something that you don't have physically, but it's there. So when mm-hmm. people order, may may, may money ka. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe our listeners can start their research on that if it's something that, you know, chagadin na yun eh. True, uh-oh. Chagadin sa marketing. And but research talaga. We can start with our community questions because uh-huh. I, I feel like we've, we've hashed out all the stuff that we have on side hustles and businesses. So now we want to get into the community questions na. Uh, from my my Villena, Jules Bernice, and Naughty, not Timmy. Not uh, how do you start a business and what are the things that you should think of when you're just starting? Well, ako, number one, do you love planning? I love planning. Oh, yes, I thrive on planning. Lahat talaga. I love seeing <laughs> everything ano, laid out before I act on them, before I execute. So first things first is, of course, like see the business model maybe. Like how are you going to earn from this? Because at the end of the day, sometimes we forget that this is about making money. This is, you're substituting this for a job. Uh, you're subs- yeah, tama ba yung pag-construct? Yeah, hindi naman yeah. tayo gumawa ng charity para mag-break even lang. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so parang, ayun, like, make the concept, write it all down, see how you're gonna get money, look for suppliers, what's your product, how are you gonna sell this? It's a lot. <laughs> It's yeah. a lot. But basically, if you have a good idea of what you're trying to create, put out in the world, then that's how you start. Yeah. And you also have, I think, to look into your skill set. Ano mm-hmm. ba yung kaya mong gawin right now? Ano yung pwede mong madelegate? Ano ba yung pwede mong i-hire na lang sa Fiverr? Or siguro one good example is my sister-in-law as well. Yung minention ko kanina, si at chess.art. Um, mm-hmm. She's really good in drawing. And she started this new business, yun nga yung commissioned art. Uh, since magaling siya mag-drawing, she, she used her iPad and built a business around it. So minsan talaga, you also have to stop overthinking. And in reality, you just have to look within you, kung ano ba yung kaya mong gawin, kung, maru- kung magaling kang magsulat, write for someone, or write mm-hmm. your own blog and monetize it. Kung magaling kang magsalita sa camera, um, apply for, uh, ano ba, Lazada Live host. Ganon, mm-hmm. mga ganon. So, when, when you started your business, were there, was there a checklist that you had to, uh, 
look at and complete before you officially launched it into the world? Yeah, I'm a, I'm very much a checklist person. Pero ang dami ko pa rin talagang na-miss sa checklist. Like, um, kasi dati nung nilaunch ko yung Lana, as in wala akong pa-teaser sa mga tao, walang soon, walang ganyan. Parang inisip ko lang na, okay, ilalive ko na tong Shopify. Walang walang marketing. Uh-uh. Zero talaga. So parang nung nilaunch ko yung Shopify, kru, kru, kru lang lahat. W- wale talaga. Ang so, hirap. Ang yeah, hirap. Tsaka ano eh, uh, sobrang business noob din ako. I must mm-hmm. have admit that time. Na ang dami ko pa rin talagang natutunan along the way na actually, Um, after I launched Lana, I learned so much then na marami akong na-miss. When I launched Mink, uh, isipin siguro ng tao na, ah, magaling na yan mag-launch. Pero hindi talaga, marami pa rin akong na-miss na siguro for my next brand, maa-apply ko. And yun nga, uh, even though you plan a lot, even if you have a checklist, marami ka pa rin talagang mamimiss. Mm-hmm. So, um Just go with the flow. Yeah, done adjust. is better than yeah. perfect. It's better than perfect, yes. So, uh, to summarize, so marketing, how are you going to sell it? How are you going to advertise it? And then product, what are you going to sell? What skills do you want to monetize? And I think to add to that, logistics, how are you going to get it yes. to your consumer? Because that's my that's learning from my mistake. Because it's hard. <laughs> Parang akala mo ang dali na lang, oh, we have LBC, blah, blah, blah. But then, magkano yung cost nun? Magkano yung... Yes. Uh, ayun. So, one thing na to add to that, like operational costs right. na akala mo kaya mong bayaran. Pero actually, you're gonna need to do the math for it. <laughs> Truly. Super duper math. Kasi before, yun nga, hindi ako masyadong nag-look into the math and parang shocks lugi pala ako. And then I had to reprice my items. Mm-hmm. And... Ako swerte ako kasi we had an on-trip class in high school. Tapos they were, um, tinuruan kami how to do costing. So parang, yeah. akala ko, it was a basic thing na everyone knew. But actually, a lot of people go into business assuming na ito yung price, ito yung profit mm-hmm. ko, that's it. Mm-hmm. But if you include the utilities, the rent, the pay, uh, the salary ng staff, That's a lot that goes into it na you don't know na included pala sa kailangan mong presyohan. So, ayun. Shipping, packaging, bottles, oh my God. stickers. So much. So basically, write everything down. Like, write everything down. And yes. make sure everything's documented so you know where you're going. And if mali- maligaw ka man, you always have something to go back to. Right. Mm-hmm. And document. Document siguro everything. Lahat ng mm-hmm. mga current supplier prices para kapag next order mo, double check mo kung yun pa rin ba yung prices yes. na binigay nila sa'yo. Or ask mm-hmm. if you can uh, ask for payment terms as well. Pero usually kasi sa first order, cash basis yan eh. Siguro when you build, when you build the relationship, saka lang nagiging mm-hmm. payment terms. Okay, so for our next question, we have a question from Isola TLC and Wanderzel. How do you cope during this crisis for, I guess, business-wise? Mm-hmm. Ako, I know, uh, change the mindset. Uh, try try your best to be logical. Ano, business-wise, you have to be present and stop worrying about the past or the future. And you have to strategize kung ano ba yung mga pwede kong magawa ngayon. Ano ba yung pwede kong baguhin? What can I stop, start, and continue? Mm-hmm. Ganon. Siguro, uh, yun nga, it's, it's really all about the mindset. Mahirap talaga ngayon. Pero um, you have to focus as a business owner and as an entrepreneur kung ano ba yung kailangan kong gawin. Yeah. yeah. Sabi nga nila, ano, if you're an entrepreneur, you're a problem solver. And it's it's not just about, you know, making demands and setting prices and doing this. It's it's seeing a problem straightforward. Tapos, you fix it immediately. Fail fast. Learn fast. Okay. Kanina ko kaya yung natutunan. <laughs> Go back to episode one of Camp Confidence. Yeah. <laughs> Ayun. Ayan, tsaka ano 
talaga na ubus yung problema eh. So mm-hmm. it, you have to accept that it's part of your responsibility as a business owner. And minsan masya shake ka pa din, pero kailangan mo lang tanggapin na ah, okay, next problem. Zoom out of the picture, what can I do about this and then execute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Again, from ACL, ACLA, TLC again, do you think marketing is still effective if a business is not operational? Ano hmm. Okay, so background dito. So ACLA is a travel company. They're a travel okay. agency. So ngayong pandemic, ano, um, syempre, wala nagta-travel. So I guess that's that was the question that was the context would you market a travel company maybe coming from a hot a hotel years perspective ah oh, grabe talaga hotels are very much impacted by the by mm-hmm. the pandemic and sa ngayon ano ba uh, sa travel industry siguro i think don't pour so much of your marketing expenses on ads muna Mm-hmm. Siguro you can still be active on social media during the pandemic and uh, siguro magbigay lang sila ng, or post mga informative uh, videos mm-hmm. or infographics ganun. Kasi for us, for Lana, we were still we were still very active on social media and nagpost yun nga, we turned out infographics relating to the coronavirus and we also created videos on how to disinfect the house, how to cope with stress, ganyan. So, kasi marketing naman is not always sell, sell, sell. Mm-hmm. Uh, lagi kong sinasabi na yung, what, what value can you give to your clients? Kasi habang nakikita, habang nakikita nila yung online presence mo, when you go back, they will be excited to support you and buy from you and book mm-hmm. maybe travels with you when everything is over. Yeah. So, But it's, this is a good time to make yourself top of mind. Mm-mm. Kasi, yeah. diba, I mean, everything's like relaxed and lay low lahat. Pero maybe during this time if you can connect with your audience in a different way like be more interactive everyone's everyone wants to travel everyone mm-hmm. i think it's something that we can't remove from our humanity entirely yeah, so yeah. it's always going to be there it's just now it's paused so mm-hmm. if you can't provide the services at least provide that virtual experience like don't remove the connection because I feel like if we start stop marketing entirely like 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 what I am doing because uh-huh. <laughs> I haven't been posting anything on Morena um but I think that's not a good thing like I don't suggest that you do what I did because <laughs> it's important for the brand to still be felt even if it's as little as online now yeah I think it's still important not selling but marketing Yes. And always, always give value to your clients. Ano bang mm-hmm. pwede nilang matutunan sa inyo? So. Noted. I'll take notes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our next question is from Nina Alexandria. How are you able to grow your businesses as startups or your own entrepreneur bosses? How did you grow na dumating na sa point na you can be your own boss? Ako talaga, ano, bootstrapping and resilience ganun kasi yun nga we uh, we are self funded although we also got uh, investors pero as a loan ganun pero kami pa rin talaga yung may full uh, mm-hmm. control over the company so when you are bootstrapping it will really be hard and you really have to be resilient and stay with your why believe in your why kasi business life will never be easy uh, but you have to stomach it in. Mm-hmm. Kailangan mong tiisin lahat ng hirap. Ganun. Although feeling siguro ng ibang tao ay yun na everything is put together. Yung for Morena. Madali. Madali. Uh. <laughs> Sala, sabi ko, lagi kong sinasabi, akala nyo glitz and glamour lang lahat. Pero behind the scenes are tears, frustrations, mm-hmm. fame. And it will always be a process. Because I'm sure. up until now, up until now, I'm still learning day by day. Kada yun nga sabi ko kanina, kada araw ibang problema. But that's how life is. Mm-hmm. And ano yun check mo lang kung ano yung mga 
pwede mong gawin for your for the betterment of your mm-hmm. future. Yeah. So um yun nga, always have a learning mindset, a childlike mindset. Um yung hunger mo for learning and how about you, madam? I I think ano, pinaka important especially after yun nga I've been doing this for a while but I was never fully 100% in, 100% invested on it kasi nga I've had other jobs you know like madami akong ginagawa at the same time pero when I decided na this is really what I want to pursue and this is I want to make this my full-time thing like I don't want it to be a side hustle anymore I guess the commitment to to give 100% of my effort into this, that's what changed when I started bu- building the office from home. And talagang hindi na siya, ano eh, hindi na siya side hustle. Yun yung transition na important for me. Kasi akala ko I could be a, an entrepreneur, a businesswoman just by having it on the side. Pero if I really want it to grow, I need to grow with it and take that yeah. leap. Diba? Parang how, how will people believe in your vision and your brand if you don't believe it enough for you to go all in? Very much so, true. Ayun. I mean, of course, I'm not saying like, quit your job, start the business. It's not that. It's, it's like build towards that. And then when you recognize that this is the time to go for it, go all out, then do so. Pero it takes a long time. <laughs> And hindi lang siya overnight talaga. It's, it's a process. Just yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still in that process. As in, I'm still very, very much in that process. As in, every day it's a process. But we need to keep, ano, keep inspired, keep learning, and take what we have and work with it. And then for our next question. Nakakatawa um, <laughs> From Christian Layese. Layes, who, who inspired you to be a CEO? Do CEOs take <laughs> afternoon naps? Ah, uh, ikaw, ikaw sumagot nito. Ikaw yung CEO. Ah, uh, sige. Uh, ano ba? Inspiration. Siguro yung CEO, locally ah, uh, CEO ng Human Heart Nature who is Anna Maloto Wilk and Camille Maloto. Uh, grabe, intense yung core values nila. I have a friend named Dana Gutierrez. Uh, she works Ooh. for, yeah, she works for mm-hmm. Human Heart Nature. And kinikwento niya sa akin, sabi niya, girl, sobrang saya mag-work sa Human Heart kasi you will feel the energy and positivity of everyone. Tsaka, ano, um, sobrang rooted nila with their core values. Tsaka they also, um, parang active sila with donations, etc., mm-hmm. etc. Et so yun, first inspiration. And next is our inspiration, maybe, si Risa. I love um, Risa! Yeah, I'm happy skin. Grabe, sobrang boss babe niya, no? Tapos mm-hmm. when I tried messaging her on Instagram, nagre-reply siya, so pinilig ako. <laughs> so nice. Nakwento ko ba yung ano? Siya yung una kong cost, isa sa mga una kong customer. Sa Morena. Yeah. Kasi, so, I was an influencer. Yuck, influencer. I was a beauty <laughs> vlogger before I became, I started Morena. So, I I made a, a review of their latest collection for Happy Skin. So, I posted it on Instagram, blah, blah, blah. I don't have a lot of followers. Rin. So, parang, it was, parang, wala lang for me. And then, she messaged me. She, she said, thank you for sharing the, ano, ganyan, we appreciate it. Tapos, that same day, I checked my orders sa Morena. Nagulat ako, nag-order siya sis na loka. Pero ako, ang sweet. I didn't even ask you to. Alam mo, hindi ko naman pinitch sa kanya. But I think she's just a genuinely good person. So. Oh, parang sobrang kind niya. Tapos parang, mm-hmm. oh my gosh, parang I have to be yeah. somehow yeah. <laughs> close to her. I mean, mm-hmm. wala lang ba it? Diba? Yeah. She inspired Tapos, me too. Yeah, di ba? Mm-hmm. Sobrang galing. Any, oh, sige. So, sa next question na tayo, do oh, okay, CEOs okay. take afternoon naps? <laughs> <laughs> Do you take so, afternoon naps? My first ever ap- afternoon nap over the past five years would be March 17, 2020. Wow! Naalala niya! 
days after ECQ. <laughs> oh, shit. Kasi sabi nga namin ni Josh, parang, oh my gosh, nung, nung nag-nap kami at nag-binge lang kami for Netflix mm-hmm. na walang, hindi kami nagigilty. Parang sabi namin, oh my God, for the past few years, ngayon lang tayo nakachill ng ganito. Mm-hmm. Pero at the back of my mind, oh my God, sobrang anxious ko pa rin. Ano bang gagawin for ECQ? Paano na mga, mga ganun. Pero, uh, I was happy na nag-indulge kami for an afternoon nap after mm-hmm. five years. At so, least the, ano, parang the situation forced you to take a nap. Oh, pero, yeah, to answer your question lately, I haven't been taking afternoon naps anymore. Kasi I'm awake from 9am to 1am. <laughs> My because God. of fulfillment. So, hindi. Ako, personally, hindi ko pa siya nagagawa ulit. How about you, Ayin? Well, kasi, well, I don't consider myself a CEO because like, founder, I don't know, uh, founder, parang founder, business, business owner, ganyan. I don't think afternoon naps in my ideal business setting, I would take them. Like, I, I don't think that's something na magagawa mo because it's a full-time job and like, you know, with 8 to 5, 9 to 5 jobs, we can't take afternoon naps, especially yeah. if you have employees who are awake during those uh, that period of time. You can't be at the back na sleeping. Parang it's just right. hard. Um, unless you're a your your own team parang if it's a one woman team then you get to decide kung anong oras ka gigising anong oras ka matutulog in that case like with me kasi ngayon wala akong staff ngayon so i get to do that i get to take afternoon naps but mostly because of the situation pero right. kung you have your team it's i don't think that's ideal mm-hmm. I, I don't think that's a good practice at all cuz people work hard to right. to make your business work so you have to work as hard to, you know, with them. Yeah, and, and if you also have a, a bigger team, mas kailangan ka nila eh, approvals kapag may mm-hmm. problema. Dapat talaga, you have to always be available to, mm-hmm. ano, to solve the problem and approve and decide on things. Yeah. Pero, but I also love myself a good night sleep. I yeah. sleep it na dapat eight hours. If not, I get cranky and I can't focus. Yun. Yeah, I guess ano, ang ang ano talaga, ang necessity is good night sleep. But an oh. afternoon nap is luxury that yes. we can't afford. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't get easier. It I don't no. think it gets easier. You just get uh, stronger. Wait lang. Um who inspired uh, hindi pa hindi mo pa nasagot yung isang question. Ay, hindi ko ba nasagot. Ay, who inspired you to be a CEO, Madam Ayin? Who inspired me? So, well, we mentioned Risa. Riza, nalil, Riza, Riza. <laughs> you mentioned Riza of Happy Skin. I also, do you know Jen M? Oh my gosh, she's so. I cute. love her. So I watched a, I think it was a speech or like a a talk. She gave a talk about being a a boss. That was it. Really made me think. Na parang, wow, she did it. She did it from being a YouTuber. And then starting her own clothing line and then designing stuff. Parang, oh, it's very much possible. And with her personality, kasi hindi siya, she's very friendly, mm-hmm. extroverted, but at the same time, soft-spoken-ish. She's not like uh, a dragon lady na parang yeah. yun yung um, pinaka, parang yun kasi yung stereotype with female uh-huh. bosses. Na dragon so, lady, you have to be that. Pero when I saw her and I saw, uh, when I when she shared her learnings, it made me want to be that as well. Para ayan. Tsaka, na-inspire ako yung nag, um, nag-prepare siya for her talk. Yes! Na, parang note speaker siya noon. And, grabe, intense OC levels. Mm-hmm. Pero so, she's effective. It, so effective. And it's like, even on her down days, she tries to get out of it and parang it's a it's it made me realize that it's a decision it's it's an everyday choice to be that person it doesn't come naturally for a lot of people and that doesn't mean that it should stop us from aspiring to be like that 
po. <laughs> like, our next question is another one from Christian Layesi. I want to start a vegetable in a box business. Can I start selling online without a permit? What are the permits to be done first before starting to sell? Ayun, that's I think that's one of the main questions. Kasi medyo mahirap with the bureaucracy in the Philippines. Parang right. you want to start the business and then the permit, the registration. It's like, how do I? What's the step-by-step process? Oh, um, yun yeah. First off, congratulations. Ang ganda ng vegetable in a box na idea. You have to go do it. Next is, uh, siguro you can ask yourself, do I see myself doing this in the long run? Yeah. Say in the next two years. If your answer is yes, go ahead and register. Ako, ako honestly, for me, uh, yung sa Wim Manila, my first online business, uh, I didn't get to register it at first kasi akala ko small time lang, online-online mm-hmm. online lang tayo. Uh-huh. Side hustle. Lang, side hustle. Um, but when I started taking in corporate orders, we were forced to do so kasi kailangan nila ng receipts. Oo. Ganun. So, yun nga, very important to identify if you if you see yourself doing this in the long run. Kasi mm-hmm. ako, for, me, for Lana naman, uh, nakita ko talaga eh, sobrang na-envision ko na I want to have this skincare brand in the long run. Parang mm-hmm. legacy ko to. Uh-oh. Ganon. So, uh, ner- so, na-register ko talaga siya agad. Mm-hmm. I applied sa SEC. Uh, if, ano naman, yung sa vegetable business mo, I think pwede ka naman mag-DTI mo. Yeah, na. DTI. And you can file it online. Mm-mm. Tapos, uh, ewan ko lang yung procedures ngayon since nga ECQ. But, yeah, you can you can apply DTI online, then you can pay it directly to them. I, pay them directly. Tapos, ayun, Going back, so I registered Lana and Mink talaga kasi I see myself mm-hmm. doing it in the long run. Then, ano pa ba? DTI, BIR. Yung yeah. ano, kasi, di ba, yung, I don't know with you, yung process nung sa akin. So I registered DTI and then, yun, online, pwede yung online, ganyan. Pero the first time, I I went to the office in Pasig, tas ang haba ng pila. <laughs> Pero ngayon, pwede mo na yung gawin online. But then after that, I had to get my barangay um, clearance, barangay clearance before I could go to the city hall for the mayor's permit. I don't know how you're gonna do that virtually now. Ngayon. Yun yung hindi ko alam. Hindi ko, hindi ko pa sure. I, I have to research, Mm-mm. check ko with my accountant para balikan ko, lagay ko na to sa to-do list ko para ako makalimutan. <laughs> Pero yung ano, I think one more thing, if you, yun nga, if this is a long-term thing na you're, you want to build it as a company, ganyan, then definitely get it registered, do the paperwork for it para it's a legitimate business. Pero kung if it's like a side hustle na parang, oh, it's a pandemic solution na, oh, you just want to do this right now kasi pandemic, so you want to get people their vegetables, then yeah. maybe no. <laughs> <laughs> Pero I think, yun nga, if you wanna do this in the long run, do it kasi it will help you with your future business loans Mm-mm. as well. Yeah. Tsaka wala ka nang takot na parang, ah, baka ma-raid ako, sabihin, hindi ako registered. Uh, so, at least peace of mind na lang din kapag Mm-mm. na-register mo na yung business mo. Ayun. Yes, correct. So next question from Wonderzell, how to deal with friends and family who don't support your business? Ayan. I think, ano, at the end of the day, your actions should speak for itself. Parang, you don't have to explain yourself to everyone. For sure, merong mga tao na hindi maniniwala sa'yo or like, they think this is an awful business model. This is not gonna work. Like, how are you gonna make money? But at the end of the day, if it works for you and you attain your goal through it, then continue living your life and building your business. Um, if we live by others' expectations, we don't, we don't get to live at all. Ay! Ay! Ano yun? <laughs> Gosh, I in Bernos 2020. <laughs> <laughs> real talk talaga, when you are just starting, close to no one will support you. Close to no one. Yes, 
I honestly just got sales from close friends when mm-hmm. Lana got when Lana got featured in websites or when I had guestings on TV shows. Siguro parang naisip nila, ah, okay, gumagana pala yung though. Lana. Ay, legit pala siya, ganun. Up until now, actually, I have relatives or friends who never bought Lana or Mink. Mm-mm. And never even went to the cat cafe sa likat. But that's okay. That's how life is. Minsan, yung mga kakilala mo lang online, yun pa yung mas supportive sa'yo. Tapos, siguro dyan ka na lang mag-focus. Be grateful for them instead. Tsaka ano, yun nga. Just do your thing and eventually, mapapansin rin nila yung work mo, yung work ethic, mm-hmm. yung quality ng products mo. Yeah. Tsaka, alam mo, eventually, they'll ask about your service or your product, di ba? So, yeah. sa ngayon, hayaan mo lang muna sila. Um, just do your best, do your thing, go back to your why and core values. Para, ano, makikita din naman nila yun eventually. Eventually. Okay, our final question from Santiago Jasmine. How to juggle three jobs? So I guess this goes back to side hustles and having multiple streams of income. How do you juggle three companies? <laughs> well, uh, time management and delegation. Ako, I I should say. Um, yun, matinding time management talaga. Tsaka disiplina. Now, when you block off a time for someone or you block off a time for a task, try your best test. Best test test. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> to comply. And yun nga, kapag may meeting ka, always make sure na val- uh, always give value to the and tawag dito always give value to the time of your meeting mm-hmm. try not to be late and if you will be late inform them or if you can if you can mm-hmm. do a task just say no yeah uh yun nga, don't overwork yourself with impossible deadlines ako mm-hmm. actually advice ko to sa sarili ko eh kasi lagi kong uh, <laughs> lagi kong yeah. in over wait yung mga kakayahan ko for a day so ang dami kong checklist to do to do to do hindi ko naman pala magagawa so um, assess yourself then kung ano ba talaga yung kaya kong gawin mm-hmm. tsaka is it making me happy is it essential is it, is it a priority yeah, di ba mm-hmm. yung juggling about- three jobs i think it's yun nga time management and blocking periods of time out of your day to dedicate to that. Halimbawa, if you have Mondays to Fridays to do all three jobs, you can do Monday morning, I'll work on job number one kasi meron akong deadline by like by Wednesday. And then Monday afternoon, I do job number two. And then job number three, if halimbawa, emails lang yung kailangan ko, I'll sick that for an hour. Tapos, it's like blocking off times of the day to dedicate to certain tasks. Kasi if you do is, oh, may tatapusin ako mabilis lang, five minutes, tapos another five minutes for another job, and then magkahagulo sila, walang boundaries. And I think it's so important to maintain those boundaries for your own sanity. Kasi, Saka, ano, ako, I personally mm-hmm. don't believe in multitasking. I don't either. Ako, ako talaga, I focus on one thing at a time. Kasi hindi, hindi ako magiging effective if I multitask. And mm-hmm. hindi rin siguro fair sa magiging employer mo if you multitask everything. Kasi they are paying you to do this for for this particular hour. So I think it's giving them value as well if you dedicate mm-hmm. this time for them. So. Yeah. So it all goes back to planning and seeing <laughs> where you will put each job, each task. So, oh. and I think preparation is everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And eight hours of sleep. <laughs> and eight hours of sleep. <laughs> All right, let's go to our gems. Let's go to uh, our gems. And we have gems. Set. So, these are things that we discovered throughout the week that we yeah. would like to recommend to you guys. So, any podcast, book, reading, app. That we can recommend. Do you want to go first? Ako, ano ba? We have been binging this next Netflix documentary called The Last Dance. Mm-hmm. Yung kay Michael Jordan. Ah! And sobrang ganda. Ang inspiring niya. Alam mo, hindi ako basketball fan. Pero umiiyak ako. 
Wait, parang so, oh my God, I'm so proud. Parang, it's so inspiring. They have a winning mindset. So this particular um, series, parang may documentary ng kung paano naging talonan na team ang Chicago Bulls to mm-hmm. uh, ilang years silang nanalo, ganyan, how they won and worked as a team talaga. Yeah. And ano eh, uh, tawag dito, ang tindi din talaga ng mga mindset shifts, mm-hmm. mindset strategies na nandun. Oh, you have to, you have to watch it. So it's I'm gonna watch it. Okay. That's how you, that's how you win. Like, whether it's in business or sports, like, it's the mindset at the end of the day. Yes. Ayan. Ako naman, how about you? My gem is a YouTube video. Kasi the other day, <laughs> ano, parang sabi ko, Um, nag-google ako, parang ang, ano yung, I think yung ginugol ko, like, what do I do if I'm afraid to fail other people's expectations? Parang ganun, something oh. like that. Nagkaroon ako ng, <laughs> nagkaroon ako ng moment. So, I found this TEDx talk. It's called, uh, Why You Don't Get What You Want, It's Not What You Expect, by Janice um, Vilhauer. Tapos, basically, sinulat ko yung quote. She said, Your past isn't what defines who you are or where you're going. It's your expectations of the future that limit you most. Um, parang, oh if you expect yourself to be a failure, or if you expect yourself that you're gonna fail, then that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a self-fulfilling prophecy. But if you believe, if you truly believe that you can make something happen, then your actions will follow... And then, pag dumating yung opportunity that's gonna take you there, you'll be ready. And hindi ka hinuhold back ng past mo from making that happen. Kasi lagi kong worry na, what if, ano, bumalik ako sa high school self ko na ang tamad-tamad? What if bumalik ako sa ganong mindset? Like, I'm always scared. But then, yeah. ayun nga, your past isn't what defines you or who you are or where you're going. It's your expectations of the future that limit you most. Wow, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us here on Camp Confidence Radio. Please don't forget to share and tag us on Instagram at Camp Confidence Radio if you're tuned in. And if you want to be part of our future episodes, you can join us on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash groups slash Camp Confidence to join discussions and to submit community questions. You can also follow me, Ayin, at Ayin Bernos and at Morena the Label on Instagram. And me at Rizalana at Lana.ph at Mink.ph on the Instagram. And we'll see you on the next one.